Teva Pharmaceutical Industries Limited Hebrew TB Tibbm is an Israeli multinational pharmaceutical company headquartered in Petah Tikva, Israel. It specializes primarily in generic drugs, but other business interests include active pharmaceutical ingredients and to a lesser extent proprietary pharmaceuticals. It is the largest generic drug manufacturer in the world and one of the 15 largest pharmaceutical companies worldwide. Teva's facilities are located in Israel, North America, Europe, and South America. Teva shares trade on both the New York Stock Exchange via ADRs and the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange. The company is a member of the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America (PHRMA). History <inaudible> <inaudible> Founding of Salomon, Levin, and Elstein Teva's earliest predecessor was Salomon, Levin, and Elstein Ltd. A wholesale distributor based in Jerusalem, then part of Ottoman Syria, that was founded in 1901, and used camels to make deliveries. During the 1930s, new immigrants from Europe founded several pharmaceutical companies including Teva, Nature, in Hebrew, and Zori, Salomon, Levin, and Elstein Ltd. also found a pharmaceutical company in the 1930s named Asia. Topic funding of Teva Pharmaceutical Industries. Teva Pharmaceutical Industries was founded by Dr. Gunther Friedlander and his aunt Else Kober in May 1, 1935. The company's registered name at the time was Teva Middle East Pharmaceutical and Chemical Works Co. Limited, Jerusalem, Palestine. Friedlander was a German pharmacist, botanist and pharmacognose, that immigrated to Mandatory Palestine in 1934, following the Nazi Party rise to power. The company was built with an investment of £4,900 sterling, which came from the family's own capital and partly from loans from other German immigrants. Capital shortage led to the joining of the banker Dr. Alfred Fuchtwanger as a partner in Teva, who received 33% of the shares in return for his investment. In 1951, Dr. Fuchtwanger initiated an initial public offering to raise capital through the newly founded Tel Aviv Stock Exchange, and Teva became a public company. Friedlander used to say during difficult economic times that a pharmaceutical industry has a strong basis in that a Jewish mother will always buy medicine for her children. In the Second World War, the company provided medicine to the Allied forces and in particular to the British Army present in the Middle East. After the war, Sir Alan Gordon Cunningham, the last High Commissioners for Palestine and Transjordan, visited Teva on behalf of the Secretary of State for the Colonies. His visit glorified Teva's reputation in the pharmaceutical market and created a momentum for Teva's development. During the Second World War and until the termination of the British Mandatory Palestine regime, Teva exported its medical products to Arab countries. In 1941, Dr. Friedlander presented Teva company products in an exhibition held in Cairo, Egypt. The exhibition was sponsored by the general agent and sole distribution of medicine in Egypt and Sudan, Syria and Lebanon. Later on, Teva exported its products to the U.S., Soviet Union USSR, health institutes in Denmark, Czechoslovakia, Persia and Burma. In 1959, the pharmaceutical branch of the Israeli Manufacturers Association performed a survey grading the pharmaceutical companies in Israel according to several measures. Teva Pharmaceuticals of Jerusalem was graded in the first place. The survey results showed that the market prefers the Teva products, many of them were developed by Dr. Friedlander and his staff. In 1954, Teva received a Certificate Excellence in Training award from the Israeli president, Yitzhak Ben Zvi. 
Dr. Friedlander emphasized the importance of education and training of TAVA personnel for the various operations, as demanded by the pharmaceutical industry, as well as on achieving broader knowledge and participation in various courses held outside the company. In 1964, a partnership between TAVA and other companies was developed. These included, Syntex a company from Mexico, Sharing Plow and others. Topic: Merger of Asia, Zori, and Teva. In 1964, Asia and Zori merged, and in 1968 acquired a controlling stake in Teva. In 1976, the three companies merged into the modern-day Teva Pharmaceutical Industries Limited. In 1980, Teva continued to follow its vision of becoming one of the world's biggest pharmaceutical companies by acquiring Ecofarm, then Israel's second largest drug manufacturer. In 1982, Teva was granted approval by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration (FDA) for its KFAR Saba manufacturing plant, an essential milestone for marketing pharmaceuticals in the U.S. Topic nineteen eighty to nineteen ninety nine. In 1980, Teva acquired Plantex. In 1995, Teva acquired Biogol Gyorgyszeg RT, Debrecen, Hungary, and acquired ICI, Italy. Topic two thousand to two thousand and nine. In 2000, Teva acquired Canada based Novofarm. In October 2003, Teva announced its intentions to acquire Sika Inc. for $3.4 billion. Following the announcement, the acquisition was completed on January 22, 2004, which marked Teva's entry into Biosimilars market. In 2005, Teva opened a new, state of the art pharmaceutical manufacturing plant in Ha Hotzvim, a technology park in Jerusalem. The plant received FDA approval in early 2007. Teva entered the Japanese market in 2005, and in 2008 established a generics joint venture with COA. In January 2006, Teva said it had completed the acquisition of IVAX Corporation for $7.4 billion. In 2008, sales totaled $11.08 billion, $13.9 billion in 2009, and in 2010 total sales rose to $16.1 billion, of which a major portion was in Europe and North America. Teva acquired its U.S. rival Avax Corporation in January 2006, Bar in 2007, and Ratiofarm in 2010. On December 23, 2008, Teva acquired Bar Pharmaceuticals for $7.5 billion, making Bar and Pleva, which Bar bought earlier, part of Teva. Topic. 2010 onwards On March 18, 2010, Teva said it planned to acquire German generic ratio farm for $5 billion. The deal was completed in August 2010. In May 2011, Teva bought Cephalin for $6.8 billion. The same month, Teva announced the 40 billion yen purchase of a majority stake in Japanese generic drug company Taiyo Pharmaceutical Industry, a move to secure a Japan local production facility. Teva completed the $934 million acquisition in July 2011. In June 2013 Teva acquired U.S. firm Microdes for $40 million with as much as $125 million being paid in regulatory and developmental milestones in 2010. Teva announced that it would build its main distribution center for the Americas in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and was considering opening its U.S. headquarters in the area. In 2010, it had 39,660 employees. In Israel, the number of workers rose 7.5% by 6,774. 
In March 2010, Teva acquired German based company Ratiofarm in a deal worth almost $5 billion, significantly expanding its European coverage. In October 2010, Teva entered a licensing agreement with Biotime to develop and market Biotime's Opragen for the treatment of age-related macular degeneration, an effort that in 2013 received $1.5 billion in funding from Israel's Office of the Chief Scientist. In May 2011, Teva announced it would purchase Cephalin for $6.8 billion to help expand its presence in the proprietary pharmaceutical sector. In January 2014, Teva acquired Nupave, after outbidding Endo, for $144 million. In June 2014, Teva acquired Labris Biologics for up to $825 million, the aim being to strengthen the company's migraine pipeline through addition of LBR101, an anti CGRP monoclonal antibody therapeutic. In March 2015, Teva acquired Orspex Pharmaceuticals for $3.5 billion growing its CNS portfolio. In April, Teva offered to acquire Mylan for $40 billion, only a fortnight after Mylan offered to buy Perigo for $29 billion. Teva's offer for Mylan was contingent on Mylan abandoning its pursuit of Perigo. Mylan stated in June 2015 that Teva's disclosure that it had a 1.35% stake in Mylan violated U.S. antitrust rules. In October, the company acquired Mexico-based Representaciones e Investigaciones Médicas for around $2.3 billion. In the same month Teva acquired Gecko Health Innovations. In November 2015, the company announced it would collaborate with Heptares Therapeutics with its work on small molecule calcitonin gene related peptide antagonists for migraine treatment, with the deal generating up to $410 million. Teva Active Pharmaceutical Ingredients TAPI operates within Teva as a standalone business unit. As well as providing for Teva's own needs, the TAPI division is an active competitor in world markets. In 2009, TAPI's sales to third parties totaled $565 million, and in 2010 sales rose by 13% to a total of $641 million. In July 2017, it was reported that Pascal Soriot, CEO of AstraZeneca since 2012, would become the next CEO of Teva, succeeding Erez Vigadman, however, this was soon refuted. As of August 2017, the company has struggled to attract a new CEO, leading to mounting questions for the board. In August 2017, the board of directors announced a 75% cut in the dividend, reflecting declining profitability, and the share price fell by almost half in the days following. As of September 11, 2017, Teva remained the world's biggest seller of generics medicines. On September 11, 2017, it was reported that they had selected Care Schultz as the new Teva CEO. A day later the company announced it would sell its Paragard contraceptive brand to Cooper Cos for $1.1 billion, with the funds being used to pay down debt. Days later the company announced further divestments, a sale of contraception, fertility, menopause and osteoporosis products to CVC Capital Partners Fund VI for $703 million and its emergency contraception brands for $675 million to Foundation Consumer Healthcare. By December, the company had announced a drastic 25% workforce reduction greater than 14,000 employees as part of a two-year cost reduction strategy. Following considerable lobbying by the Israeli government, from whom Teva received considerable tax breaks, and from Israel's Labor Federation, the Histadrut, Teva agreed to delay some of the layoffs in Israel. Activist generics In July 2015, Allergen agreed to sell its generic drug business Activist Generics to Teva for $40.5 billion $33.75 billion in cash and $6.75 billion worth of shares. As a result, Teva dropped its pursuit of Mylan. 
In order for the deal to gain regulatory approval, Teva sold off a number of assets, including a portfolio of five generic drugs to Sagent Pharmaceuticals for $40 million, as well as a further eight medicines to Dr. Reddy's in a $350 million deal. Teva also sold a further 15 marketed generics, as well as three others which were close to market, for $586 million to Impax Laboratories. In July, Teva sold off a further 42 products to Australian generics company, Maine Pharma, for $652 million. The deal moved Maine up 50 spots, into the top 25 companies of U.S. generic companies. As part of the deal, Teva will seek to raise $20 to $25 billion through a bond sale. After completing the $39 billion acquisition of Activist Generics, Teva announced another, smaller, deal with Allergen, agreeing to acquire its generic distribution business ANDA for $500 million. Acquisition history The following is an illustration of the company's major mergers and acquisitions and historical predecessors this is not a comprehensive list. Topic. Corporate governance Topic research and development Tava holds patents on multiple drugs, including, Copaxone, a specialty drug for the treatment of multiple sclerosis, now the world's best-selling MS drug, and Azilect sold as Agilect in some countries for treatment of Parkinson's disease. By July 2015 Copaxone held at 31.2% shares of total MS prescriptions in the United States. Tava's new 40 mg version of Copaxone taken three times a week accounted for 68.5% of total Copaxone prescriptions in the United States. Copaxone accounts for about 50% of Tava's profit and 20% of revenue. Competitors Glatopa, 20 mg version of Copaxone, is taken once a day. In June 2006, Tava received from the FDA a 180-day exclusivity period to sell Simvastatin in the U.S. as a generic drug in all strengths except 80 mg. Tava presently competes with the maker of brand name Zoka, Merck & Co., Ranbaxy Laboratories, which has 180-day exclusivity for the 80 mg strength, and Dr. Reddy's Laboratories, whose authorized generic version licensed by Merck is exempt from exclusivity. In June 2010, the company announced it would discontinue its production of propofol, a major sedative estimated to be used in 75% of all U.S. anesthetic procedures. In March 2015, Tava sold four anti cancer compounds to Igneta Inc. for $41.6 million. As part of the deal, Tava sold the following compounds, which were then renamed CEP32496, renamed RXDX105, a small molecule inhibitor of BRAF, EGFR, and RET, now in phase 1, 2 trials, CEP40783, renamed RXDX106, a small molecule inhibitor of Axel and CMET in preclinical development, CEP40125, renamed RXDX107, a nano formulation of a modified bendarmistine with potential activity in solid tumors. Bendarmistine rapid infusion as therapy for Calais and NHL is part of Tava's specialty drugs pipeline. TEV44229 renamed RXDX108 a potent inhibitor of the kinase PKC iota. Topic: Legal issues. On June 25, 2010, Bayer sued Tava for falsely claiming that Gianvi, Tava's generic of Yaz, was stabilized by Betadex as a clathrate. The lawsuit stems from Bayer's U.S. patent, 5,798,338, on the binding and preservative agents that were not in fact present in Gianvi. In the preparation of such low-dose dosage forms, strong fluctuations of the active ingredient concentrations in the dosage units occur almost unavoidably inadequate content uniformity, which manifest themselves more strongly, the smaller the amount of the active ingredient. 
It has now been found that the drawbacks that are observed especially in the preparation and storage of dosage forms which contain low-dosed steroidal sex hormones can be avoided, at least to a large extent, if dosage forms are prepared that contain powdery cyclodextrin clathrates of these active ingredients. The settlement of the lawsuit resulted in Tava changing its product marketing to remove the claim that it used the same ingredients as Yaz. Bayer's patent is on a method specifically designed to prevent oxidative degradation of the estrogen. In January 2015, the Supreme Court of the United States decided on the Copaxone patent in Tava Pharmaceuticals USA, Inc. v. Sandoz, Inc. In December 2016, the attorneys general of 20 states filed a civil complaint accusing Tava Pharmaceutical of a coordinated scheme to artificially maintain high prices for a generic antibiotic and diabetes drug. The complaint alleged price collusion schemes between six pharmaceutical firms including informal gatherings, telephone calls, and text messages. Topic: Pharmaceutical products. A full list of products is available from www.tevagenerics.com. Topic: Recalls. In 2018, Tava Pharmaceuticals USA recalled tablets containing valsartan due to the detection of a toxic impurity in nitrosidimethylamine NDMA. Topic: See also Economy of Israel Science and technology in Israel Health care in Israel Biotime Tava Active Pharmaceutical Ingredients Tappy.